Alright guys, it is 5 in the afternoon on the single coldest day I'm assuming will remain the coldest day in Austin, Texas for 2014. We have somehow made it to Thursday, February 6, 2014 and I have just uh, returned from a two hour descent into the depths of the Arctic wasteland of Austin, Texas, trying to go get my groceries on the goddamn new bus service, the Capital Metro Bus Service. Here it is, the, the very bus, not, well, not the very bus I was on, the very bus line I was on here, the number one bus line. And guys, this is a whine. This is not a rant. Okay, just so you understand the difference between a rant and a whine. Alright, this one is a whine. So, uh, anyway, the whine of the day is uh, our, our, our great bus system, Capital Metro. Uh, well, I guess it was February 1st. Uh, instituted their new service improvements. Their much ballyhooed service improvements they were going to be bringing to the residents, to the bus riding public in Austin, Texas for the probably one half of one percent of Austinites who have ever been on a bus in Austin because the Austin, Texas bus service is one of the most inefficient uh, completely worthless uh, bus systems that I have ever encountered. If only the the Austin, Texas bus service could oh have the effectiveness of the Terrapoto, Peru bus service. Anywho, uh, I've had a couple of rants about the the Capital Metro Austin bus service. So I could not wait for the new service improvements to hit. Well, guys, they hit about six days ago, and why am I not surprised that the new service improvements have, in fact, cut the number of buses servicing my bus stop in half. In half. So now I get to wait twice as long as I used to for a bus. Uh, and of course, when the bus gets here, it is twice as crowded. So I get to wait twice as long for a twice as crowded bus. There is the new uh, Austin uh, Capital Metro bus service improvements that I am enjoying. Uh, today is the first day that I've gotten on the bus since these things. Now, one of the guys who lived here, uh, he actually uh, packed up his shit and moved out before he got fired from his job by all of the headaches this was throwing into his life. Uh, so anyway, I just wanted to frame, so I had finally had enough, and so I just thought I would share my, uh, my telephone call. This is me calling the, the customer service line. The Capital Metro customer service line, I already had sent an email about this, uh, last week about my concerns. They promised that they would uh, get back with me. Needless to say, no one has ever gotten back with me. So I decided instead to pick up the phone where I talked to friendly Capital Metro customer service representative John. And this is what John had to say about my concerns. Take it away, John. Capital Metro. This is John. How can I help you? John, my name is Sam Mitchell, uh, and I'm, uh, I live on Wasson Road in South Austin, Texas. I ride this number one bus line, mm -hmm. and I just want to go on record as I'm, as I'm heading out into this 30-degree day to head down to HEB to do my 
grocery shopping as I do on the bus since I have no car. I just want to register my vociferous complaints about this service uh, destruction of the number one bus line. Are you the person the that I register my vociferous line. complaint with or is it somebody else? Um, I can assist you with that. Okay. Uh, well, I don't know what to say except to just, just put me, I'm sure, on the list uh, uh, of the hundreds of people that you have victimized, not you, John, of course, you know what I'm talking about, that Cap Metro has victimized by, uh, by cutting our number of buses in half. You have, you, you have cut the number of buses in half, and I guess I'm ready to find that you've probably doubled the uh, fares, I'm, I'm sure. We had to have a guy move out from here. Uh, because of this crap last week. He had to pack up and move because of you destroying the service on the number by getting rid of the number 1L. Uh, I, I would just want somebody uh, at Cap Metro to understand the headaches that, that you have sent spiraling around uh, Austin, Texas by your unilateral decision to cut our bus service in half and uh, add me to the list. I, I, we need to get a, a public hearing and a protest going uh, on this. Um, okay, well, can you, I'm, I'm sorry, but um, can you explain to me exactly how we cut the service in half? Okay, there used to be a bus running every, I guess, every 13 minutes. You had the number okay. 1M and the number 1L. So okay, you well, have, we still a, have a bus running every third. We have a bus 801 that runs. No, that every does 12. not do. I was ready to. I'm, I'm, I promised myself no four letter words. As much as we appreciate that number 801, it does not help anybody who's not. It, it, it completely defeats the purpose, John. Uh, I live about one half. Well, I'm, I'm right about halfway between Little Texas and the South Transit Center. Anybody, on, which I think is about a two-mile stretch of road, and for, for me to walk to Little Texas or to the South Congress thing completely, completely uh, defeats the purpose uh, of having a bus stop two blocks from my house. It completely, especially when I'm, as I'm getting ready to be doing, carrying about 50 pounds of groceries in the 30 degree cold, which will be the 100 degree heat before we know it. That, uh, it, that, that, that crap about the 801 does nothing for the dozens, if not hundreds of people in my shape that, that are now stranded between the, those 801 bus stops, which are about two miles apart. It, it's a joke. It, it, is an, it is doing nothing for any of us stuck halfway between those stops who used to be able to depend uh, on a, 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 a bus coming every 13 minutes. And uh, so now, and of course it's made the 1M bus a hell of a lot more crowded, so I'm going to have more trouble than ever after sitting out there at that damn bus stop at, uh, at for twice as long out there at Old Torf and Congress. When I get on the bus, there's going to be so many extra people on the 1M, I'm going to have nowhere to put my bags of groceries. It was enough of a problem when, when there were two buses. And, and, and don't tell me to get on the 801 in front of the HEB because it's going to go right past my bus stop, almost a mile beyond my house, and spit me out with 50 pounds of groceries to lug back to my house because it won't stop at my bus stop. So that 801 express bus isn't doing me one damn bit of good. Nothing. It's not doing me any good. It's not doing anyone. Uh, it's not doing dozens, if not hundreds of people 
So all of your uh, all of your great service improvements with that 801, while it is an improvement to those people lucky enough to, to live uh, th that that was one of their stops anyway, but you have completely screwed hundreds of people uh, by getting rid of that uh, that one L line. As I say, uh, my buddy uh, he packed up his stuff and moved. And now, you know, we depended on him uh, helping to pay the uh, mortgage around this place. So now we have to go out and, and find another tenant so we can pay our mortgage payment. You know, do you, do you see the knock-on effects of this? I'm, uh, I know I'm going off on you, John. I'm sure you're just a, a nice guy probably earning your $10 an hour working for these crooks. Uh, but anyway, I have got to get out of here to go catch the number one M bus, but I just wanted to vent before I headed out into this 30 degree day to go grocery shopping and being victimized by Capital Metro's joke service improvements. Anyway, uh, there you go. That's um, what's on my okay, mind well, today. Okay, I'll go ahead and... Uh put in your complaint okay is there can i get a call back from somebody on this i emailed um, this complaint and you promised okay. me an email response I, I i have done this three times in my life complained against cap metro mm -hmm. every single time ask for ask for a response back i have never mm -hmm. received a response okay. back from okay, my so email I'll make sure you get a response back. so what is your name and a phone number i can we can reach you at my name anyway so that was my phone call before heading out. So uh, I went and froze my ass on the coldest day of the year, waiting for this goddamn 1M to come limping on, and went and did my uh, went and did my grocery shopping. And then while at the grocery store, I got the newest edition of the Austin Chronicle, cause I knew I was gonna have plenty of time to read the newspaper, and. Uh, Take a wild guess. The uh, the very first the very first letter to the editor uh, in the uh, Austin Chronicle new bus is a bad deal. Jesus, it is not significantly faster. Blah 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 to make the 801 viable. Cap Metro had to have local bus service on South Congress. South Congress Avenue is one of the, the busiest streets in uh, Austin, Texas. Blah blah blah. It is a bad deal for both transit riders and for drivers. And then I go on and uh flip the page, and what do we have? We have this letter to the editor. Cap Metro has made it harder. And uh, let's see, um, let's read the middle paragraph of this story from Emily. Yes, the number one route is stinky and crowded. But it is nice to know that a bus will show up shortly. Uh, yeah, I was bad. It was bad enough when they were supposed to show up every 13 minutes. But now Capital Metro has reduced the frequency of buses coming to my local bus stop. Gee, I could catch a number one every 15 minutes, or at the very least every. 30 minutes. Uh, consolidating the 1M and the 1L has doubled my weight options. I have to walk twice as far to a bus stop and pay one and a half times what I would have paid. The bus system is now less convenient and more expensive. 
Uh, there you go. Thank you, Emily. So anyway, so I'm sitting there. You got a picture of this, guys. I'm down there freezing my ass, waiting for twice as long for a goddamn bus to come along and rescue my popsicle ass uh, off of the bus stop. And who comes walking up to me is this chirpy little bimbo from Cap Metro. She's down there at the, uh, at the bus stop uh cheering people up the, the, this little chirpy little bimbo cheering us up about all the wonderful improvements and she comes up I, I had just finished that letter to the editor those two letters to the editor uh, uh, about what a pile of shit cap metro has turned into and, and you can imagine you can imagine my response when uh, this cute little girl probably working for minimum wage freezing her little buns out there on the side of South Congress Avenue, you can uh, imagine uh, my response to her unofficial little customer s satisfaction survey on the side of the road. Uh, I, I was in the middle of it. I would repeat it here, but it included several F words. Uh, suggesting what she could do with her customer satisfaction survey. And so I get on the bus. Needless to say, there is nowhere for me to sit down. There is nowhere for me to put my bags. But the bus, uh, but the bus driver is cracking up. And uh, I get on the bus, and, and, and he goes, "Let me guess. Uh, they were they were talking to you uh, about the the new bus service on Congress Avenue." And I uh, and I said, uh, "How how could you guess, dude?" And uh, he, he just uh, let me know that the, the number one bus drivers in his position are, are, are as screwed as the drivers. So, anywho, I'm going to enjoy uh, emailing this uh, this Humpty Dumpty YouTube rant off to uh, Cap Metro if there is anybody out there in Austin, Texas being victimized by this shit. Would you please contact me? Uh, I'm going to contact these two letter writers, and we are going to get us an old-fashioned... An old-fashioned, uh, what would you call it? An old-fashioned revolution. Revolution on the wreckage, on the wreckage uh, of our bus system. Anyway, enough of this whining. Uh, bye, guys.